and welcome to All About The Pace. Yes, well, there you go. Um, what is hit by Tower of Power by the legendary Francis Rocco Prestia. I don't know how he does that, man, for 10 minutes. That really hurts. <laughs> so, today, what do we have here? It's Ashdown time. Look at this. So, we've got some spruced up amps, uh, some sort of revamps here. We've got the RM800 Evo 2. And it's little brother, the 300. And on the top, we've got the Origin Al 500. This is new. And we've got some new cabinets too. These are the new lightweight cabs, so they've got neodymium speakers in. Thus reducing the weight considerably. So, let's start off with the old uh, RM, or the old, the new RM800. So, this used to be a 500, I believe. Uh, so it's been uh, upgraded to, uh, with a bigger power amp. Uh, yeah, all the stuff uh, you'd expect. We've got two inputs. We've got passive for like regular old basses. Active if you've got a hot active bass. Uh, the famous Ashdown VU meter to just tell you how much level's going in. Uh, we've got a, a, the familiar shape or contour button. What does that do? Well, let's have a listen. If we take it out, we've got a flat sound. <laughs> We put it in, it contours the sound. So it's like a, a, a pre shaped EQ, uh, if you can imagine. It boosts the bass, cuts the middle, boosts the treble. So it gives you uh, that kind of, kind of brighter, uh, more focused sound. So out. It's kind of nice to have that in there. But of course, you can always shape the EQ yourself. Um, here we've got an EQ in and out switch. Put that in. And then to get the same effect as I just had with that, uh, let's cut the middle, boost the treble, and see how that sounds. Uh, okay, let's have some more middle on there. See what that sounds like. And the mid has uh, it's parametric, so you can go through the frequencies of it. Uh, I'll show you what that sounds like. If I put it on full boost. Very throaty. Quite a funky sound, I like that. Okay, and we've got uh, a frequency adjust on the top end too. So we can get some real bright top end on there.
Okay, that's an EQ, quite musical. That's the nice thing about Ashdown EQ. It's a musical EQ. It's not uh, too harsh, not too brash. Uh, what else do we have on here? We've got a mute. Okay, that's obvious what that does. And so you can unplug your bass without making horrible noises. Uh, input, uh, this is the gain stage. We've got a compressor. Let's see what happens when we dial that in a bit. So all the way up, maximum compression. And the compressor basically evens out the signal. So any sort of big peaks and stuff, like for instance, when you're slapping the bass, it levels them all out. So that's, a, that's kind of a handy effect to have on there. little drive section here too, overdrive. Turn that on. Try and be a little bit subtle with that to start with. That's nice. So if you just have a little bit of drive, it's just a nice... Uh, it up, makes it a little bit dirty. You can have it even more subtle if you want. Again, it's a nice overdrive, it's not harsh, it's not too bright, not too fizzy. Very analogue character to it. Let's crank it up a bit. have that kind of preset in one place so you can just kick it in when you want and we've got this sub thing this is very uh, familiar to any Ashdown, uh, Ashdown owners we've got this kind of almost like an octave thing that kicks in So that works nicely up the top end of the guitar, that's great. Gives you a nice sound, okay. Uh, master volume there, master output. I should have a look around the back really, see what they give you. Uh, right, speaker out, you've got two of those. Um, you've got DI out, headphone socket, that's handy. Headphones on off. Ooh. Uh, right, we've got uh, line in. We've got the foot switch uh, input there, even though it says FS2 out, I think it really means in. And uh, that is, a, is an optional double latching foot switch. If you add one of those, you can then uh, remotely switch in the sub octave thing and the drive, okay? So you can do that with your feet, very handy. Um, FX send and FX return. Okay, there we go, that's what's around the back of there. So all uh, those specs are available in the Little Brother, the RM300, it's just with less power. That's 300 watts instead of 800 watts. I'm looking around the back and it's got all the same bits on the back there. So just different size uh, power amp, really. And uh, those two are priced respectively at 599, uh, which is 
which is not expensive for an 800 watt base amp with these sort of specs. And uh, 339 you can get this one for. So if you don't need quite so much power, that's a real bargain. 339 pounds. Uh, check them out on the Anderton's website and all the info you need will be right there. Okay, now then, what about this on top? Should we have a look at this one? Yes, I'll plug it in, hang on. Okay, so here we are then. We've got the original OWL 500. I'm not quite sure what the meaning of the origin in big letters and the owl in small letters is. Uh, one of the good days, please leave in your comment below and explain that for us. Uh, so this is 500 watts. Um, it's very small. It's very light. Uh, and it sounds a bit like this. We got the shape or contour button again. That's not pig. It's live, folks. That's got a real nice sound to it, actually. I like that. It's got a lot of character. Hmm, I like that. If you're a fan of the Ashton sound, I think you'll like this. So that's the shape. Let's just put that back on flat and then have a look and see what the EQ does. Pre shaping. Bit of middly widdly. Ooh, we've got low mid and high mid. Hey, this is okay. So not parametric then. We've got some pre preordained mid frequencies. What are they? High mid. Again, very musical, um, that kind of EQ. I think there's lots of tonal options there for you. Um, yeah, it's, it's a lot, it's not a lot, it's, it's, it's a more sim simple sort of setup than this amplifier. Uh, but you know, that's all right. I think a lot of people would like that. It's got the classic Ashdown VU on there. And uh, also the, a lot of the controls they put on the front. So the DI out on this one is on the back, on this one it's on the front. And the F, uh, FX return and send is on the front. Now, obviously, that makes sense if you're going to use it in, this, in that sort of specially designed cabinet. You slot it in, you're going to want to access everything from the front. So I see where they've done that. Very nice. Uh, how much is that? I hear you ask. Well, it is only £379, uh, which for a 500 watt base amp, um, very small, very light, very portable, uh, is great value for money. It sure is. So there you go. The original Owl 500. Which brings us to uh, the new cabinets. Okay, and uh, I think there's three kinds. We've got the two by 10 here for the horn. We've got the 15 and a horn there. And the other one in the series is over here, which is a 12 and a horn. Now we just got these rigged up here. Um, I guess, uh, you know, the main feature about these is they've got these neodymium speakers. Uh, they use neodymium in the magnets because it makes them a lot lighter. Um, you know, if you've got to lug them around for any sort of distance, you, you're going to want them as light as possible. So, you see a load of the base manufacturers have moved over to this now because uh, nobody wants a bad back. Uh, they're all pretty straightforward. I mean, on the back, connectivity-wise, 
We've got uh, dual either speak on or jack inputs. So you can use either. Uh, you've got speaker in and a link to connect up another speaker straight out of that. And then you've got uh, the horn in there, the high frequency side of it. Uh, you can have it off or low or high. So there's three different uh, settings for that. Uh, 300 watts, 300 watts, 250 watts on the 12. Um, price wise, uh, the 15 is going to be about 449. The 12 is going to be about the same price. And the 210, slightly more expensive, but not loads more, uh, at 479. Uh, but of course, always check the website out and see because there might be some deals on it. Whatever. So uh, yeah, um, you know, if you want, just go along to Anderton's website, check it out, check the links below, and it'll tell you everything you need to know. Um, so uh, yeah, I'll tell you what then, because that about wraps all this stuff up. What we'll do, I'll have a little play just at the end, and then we'll um, we'll mic the cabs up, and we'll show you what the different cabs sound like with our mic. All right. Jolly good. Well, I hope this has been informative. Uh, it's been all about the bass. Uh, thanks for joining me and uh, see you next time. See you folks. Thank you.